But first, though, it's a new school year for tens of thousands of students in Seminole County, and there's a much different feel compared to previous first days. Superintendent Dr. Walt Griffin is urging patience from everyone during these new and trying times. And Dr. Griffin kicked off the new school year with a historic bell ringing at Pinecrest Elementary School earlier this morning. And there it is, a mix of in-person and online learning happening in Seminole County. As Mark Lehman reports, a good percentage of students decided to return to the classroom. A busy start to the morning out here at Pinecrest Elementary as classes begin. School leaders are calling this the most challenging start to the school year they've ever seen. But after weeks of planning, they say they're ready to welcome back students both in person and online. Well, I know there are many unknowns. What I can assure you of is that we are prepared. Superintendent Walt Griffin sending a message home to parents on Sunday as Seminole County students are beginning classes in the midst of a pandemic. The district is the second in Central Florida to start the new school year, but the first to return to in-person learning, something that's required a lot of coordination. Schedules are more complex. Um, ask everybody for their, their patience. According to the district, roughly 44% of families have chosen face-to-face -face instruction, while 46% are starting the year virtually and 10% of students are opting for the county's hybrid model. Um, he is in eighth grade, so he's excited about this being his last year in middle school. Nikki Smith telling us her eighth grader will be staying at home to begin the year. Now the children are getting it, I have to be cautious for my son. So I have to be his voice, so he stays home. But for those returning to the classroom, the district has spent weeks putting safety measures in place, all of it to keep students healthy and prevent outbreaks of the virus. If the numbers were to continue to increase to where they were um, more concerned, we would take the direction from the from all of our medical experts. And the big message district leaders want to get across is that there will be an adjustment period for everyone involved. We will be watching for any issues. The main thing the superintendent wants to stress is that uh, he's urging patience for everyone over the next couple of days. For now, reporting in Sanford, Mark Lehman, Getting Results News 6.